I think my girlfriend is deeply in love with her male best friend and I'm secretly her second option. I've been with my girlfriend Jordan for over two years. Up until this weekend I genuinely thought everything was perfect in our relationship. She is very sweet and easygoing and normally we just mesh well on everything. The only thing that bugs me is her guy best friend Mark. She's known Mark for their whole lives because they both grew up in the same small religious community. Jordan isn't part of that religion anymore, she decided to leave the church when the pastor roped her. Mark is still in the community and apparently takes it really seriously, but acknowledges Jordan's past trauma and never tries to convert her back. As far as I know Mark is the only person from the religious community that Jordan still talks to, and that includes her parents as they victim blamed her when the pastor did what he did. So, on Saturday I met Mark for the first time because he was in our city and Jordan wanted us all to have dinner together. For context, when we were first dating, I found out that Jordan had a best friend who was a guy and I didn't really like it, especially because it seemed like they were on FaceTime with each other a lot, and were saying I love you to each other a lot. But I just trusted Jordan that Mark was only a friend. So, when we were going to dinner, I wasn't jealous or suspicious of Mark at all. If anything I was somewhat excited to finally be meeting him since I've been hearing about how awesome and amazing he is for two years. But the way Jordan and Mark acted at dinner is what convinced me that there's something going on there other than just being best friends. I've never seen two people act more obviously like they were in love with each other. They literally would not stop touching each other, they were constantly touching each other's arms and shoulders, at some points they were actually even holding hands. Mark blew her an air kiss once and. She giggled. They completely left me out of the conversation and were laughing about inside jokes, and every time they'd laugh they'd do this thing where they put their foreheads together while holding hands. They were also looking at each other in a way that I didn't feel comfortable with at all. I'm 100% sure that every stranger looking at our table thought that Jordan and Mark were the couple and that I was third wheeling. Jordan didn't even notice how awkward she was making it for me because she was way too focused on Mark and all the attention she was getting from him. It was genuinely really jarring to be sitting there with her and Mark and basically feeling like I didn't know my girlfriend at all, it was like he turned her into a completely different person who didn't even care that I was alive. So finally at one point when Jordan got up to go to the bathroom I just said to Mark, so are you into my girl or what's going on here? Mark, nothing's going on at all. That ship sailed a long time ago. Me, what does that mean? Did you guys date at some point? Mark, no we never did. And then when she left the church, we both knew it meant that we were never going to. And we've accepted being in each other's lives as friends. We banged when we were teens once but that's it. There's nothing else going on at all. Me, wait wait you two banged? Also what you said makes it sound like the only reason you're not together is because she left the church. And all Mark did was shrug. That is when Jordan came back from the bathroom. The rest of the dinner went okay, but as we were leaving they hugged for an uncomfortably long amount of time. It wasn't a friendly hug either, more like a true embrace between boyfriend and girlfriend. So because of dinner and that conversation, I really feel like Jordan and Mark are in love with each other and not just best friends like they say they are, and the only reason they aren't together is because of Jordan's past trauma. I think Jordan expects me to be okay with being her second choice and in the meantime she's actually secretly wanting to be with Mark. So that makes me think that I should probably just have self-respect and break up with her, because I shouldn't be in a relationship with someone who would rather be with somebody else.